Time to start a new adventure. In this adventure, we're going to be exploring Poseidon Rex. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be another strange adventure because it's I, I don't know what happens to BTV, but I've had a hard time trying to find the stuff that I like. So I decided to search for YouTube and see if there were any of the monster movies on there. And yes, our little adventure is on YouTube. And I thought to myself, you know what? It is so hard to sit down and watch these things. How about I watch it on like triple the speed to see if I can get any enjoyment out of it. And it's freaking amazing. So we get the guy from Touched by an Angel and Charmed as one of the divers and obviously the main character in this movie. And they're diving in to go search for something. Some kind of treasure or Mayan gold or whatnot. Who really cares? Because honestly, I don't want to sit here watching this whole thing and kill my brain cells. They all dive in. This guy is tracking them on the radar thing and they find a place to plant the charges because you know what? Blowing up the ocean when you have no idea what's down there, including volcanic areas, is a great way to do things. They're like, this is the area. I found pieces of treasure. <laughs> I'm going to be rich. So let me put the charge right here. But in doing that, they unearth something. They blow it up and they wake up King Rex. They're like, oh snap, and it just goes and chomps all of them. Check out how hilarious this is. Whoa, what the? This is so hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, that makes things so much better. Dog ass. Sexy bodies are diving. No, so these are totally random people that happen to find Jackson, our main character. Oh, look, there he is. They bring him back to the boat after they're snorkeling, their adventure is over, and they try to nurse him back to health. Big muscular sexy dude finds the treasure under his sleeve and is like, what the frick is this? <laughs> Back by now. The hell kind of posse is this? Got woman in leopard skirts massaging him and his friend. This is so freaking forced. Lil John posing for his next album over there. Okay! As our weird main character comes to life, the people who rescued him are like, what's up with you? What are you doing out there? And why do you have this treasure thing on you? Then he has a flashback as to how he got there in the first place. Now I'm going to ask you one more time. Where is Tariq's money? Okay, first of all, how did that much blood come out of his mouth? Was he holding a packet inside? What the hell? Unless you sliced your tongue all the way through the middle, like completely in half, like a forked serpent, there is no reason why that much blood would be coming out of your mouth and why it would be dark. You have a problem if your blood is coming out that dark. Dude, look, it's almost freaking black. What do you have, zombie? They're pressuring him to tell him where their money went because he was supposed to retrieve money for them and apparently this dinosaur took it. Or maybe he's telling him about something else. I have no idea. Don't really care about this movie. As you know, these movies are not worth too much of your brain cells or else they will hurt you like they have been doing to me. So I've decided to take it a little bit slower today. Meat Face here and the rest of his friends are laughing because it's funny since he said he found Spanish money. <laughs> he's talking about my own gold. The gold that the crew from the Cortez stole from the native people. No one has found it. No one knows where it is. I know where it is. Of course, they all think he's joking, but they're gonna give him a chance because they want their money, you know? And for some reason, this guy doesn't seem very intimidating at all. Has found it. No one knows where it is. I know where it is. All right. But I'm warning you. You try anything slate, anything at all, and I will put a bullet in your head and bury you in that hole myself. Try harder, dude. You look tired. And a flashback, beginning of the present, with painted nipples. Rescuer is asking what else he found, and he's like, I don't want to get you guys into anything too dangerous, but it's a little bit too late for that. He's like, I'll tell you, but let's go outside. Why is someone always rubbing him? I don't see how that's 
how that feels good. First of all, you're not in a relaxed position. You're tense. You're sitting upward, engaging your core. And then those little neck shoulder muscles are always tight. Everyone who tries to do that to me, it doesn't feel good. In every shot, they're doing it. Like, I mean, is there nothing else for them to do? I would want to be fanned more than massaged. And I know her hands are tired. <laughs> then it's awkward because everyone's just standing there like, I don't know what to do. Yes, boss. Any sign of them, boy? No, boss. But the whole area around the blue hole. Shut down and unlock. Then find a boat. I will say this, at least the guy in the dreads, at least he sounds like he has an authentic accent. Smash up the rod, passengers. Resume dead. What the rod you want me to do? I want you to keep looking at Yep, that's an authentic accent. Thank goodness, because it was getting a little bit old paying these people five dollars to do an accent for German or African or Jamaican and they sound like a freaking fish. Fish. We're gonna cut through the venture a lot because this is more about fun. You can get the whole story literally from this movie without watching the whole thing, trust me. But he tells these poor people that this gangster, in order for him to pay him off, he has to get that gold because he doesn't have the money. Hey, newsflash, if you're gonna lend someone money who has problems with money and doesn't have money, chances are you're not getting it back. You can break their kneecaps all you want, but if they don't have the money, how are they going to get it out of thin air? So you end up killing someone who just took all of your money. It just didn't make sense to me. Out there. I'll tell you what, I'm willing to cut you in if you guys help me find it. Yeah, sure. If the mob boss doesn't kill you first. Apparently, based on what this girl was also saying, she said something killed those men. If it wasn't you, it was something, someone or something, and she doesn't care about the money. Yeah, sure she doesn't. She would gladly take that money and get cut in. But she wants to know what the beast is out there that killed those men. This girl's like, you guys are being stupid because gangsters are after him. What are you doing? I think I'm going to stay. They'll suit up, ready for their adventure. Just like we're ready to see what's going to happen with this Poseidon Rex. <laughs> oh, oh, how convenient. Now that they're down there, they can't see what's coming after them. Or at least the guy in the boat can't. While they're down there, they find eggs littering the ocean bottom. Kind of reminds me of that scene from Jurassic Park 3. <laughs> things that don't make sense in this movie is why they are on a sandy ocean bottom and the dinosaur web footprints are just so perfectly perfectly preserved there's one doesn't look like it was scuffled or anything look like the dinosaur took its time placing its foot down right there and poured a little cement around the edges don't know how it would cure down here but it did and so it's totally identifiable as a dinosaur footprint there goes another perfect perfect just straight edges and everything these are dinosaur footprints i think why did they jump to that conclusion? Unless this is stone, which wouldn't make any sense. I think a better way of writing it would be for the character to say they look like dinosaur footprints. But I'm just nitpicking. So why would the dinosaur be walking with perfect footprints on the bottom of the ocean if it can swim? Whatever. We've got to take one back to the lab. And so it begins. They take an egg. That never ends well. Get on fucked up now! Now they know they're in danger because a severed arm goes floating up past the girl who starts freaking out. You think they're safe and this guy kind of thinks he's safe because the gangster people might think he's dead along with the other crew members, but one of them is watching. He's still alive and they're like, yes, I need my money. They bring the egg back to the lab and of course figure out that it has a live baby dinosaur in there sleeping to its heart's content. And that when it sues just makes me so freaking mad as hell because this little baby dinosaur is minding his own freaking business and this is the first interaction he gets with humans as soon as he is forced out of his egg. He doesn't hatch naturally, he is forced out of his egg. Just imagine how this would feel to you as a baby dinosaur. Oh god, it's awful. What is that? <laughs> It's hydrogen sulfide and methane. A bit pungent, but nothing you can't handle. Careful, not too close. Come on, his eyes are close. I'm just keep Yeah, keep in mind this little dude just hatched. Just hatched. 
Not naturally, something took him out of his egg. His eyes are still closed. He's hanging in the air, but he's not in water. And something is pinching on his back. I'm pretty sure those little spines, little dorsal sail, he has nerve endings in that membrane. He can feel everything. And she's got the equivalent of a freaking clamp over his little spine area. He looks over. Is that mommy? No, it's two weird looking things that look nothing like me that he's never seen before. But somehow instinctively knows that it's not his kind. And it must look like something holding him with a freaking chopstick ready to eat him. Another four steps. One, two, three. Where's it? Where'd it go? I don't know. Do you see it? Jess, in the corner, by the bell cap. Where? Look how they're crouching down to get him. I'm just trying to give you an idea. Look from the little baby dinosaur's point of view how this must look. These two big ass things that you think are going to eat you, as far as you're concerned, they were hurting you because it doesn't feel very well for something to hold you with some forceps by your freaking spine. I know it's not his technical spine, but you know what I mean. And then they're both creeping up on you two to one and you're like, shit, where's my mom? What do I do? I got it. I, I got it. Careful. I got it. Oh my god. Oh. 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 That's close. That's baby abuse. That poor little thing. It is so freaking frightened. She grabs it with the forceps again and head dunks it into a block of ice, closes the door so it can't get oxygen, and it's in a freezing cold box. All of this within seconds after it is born. Holy shit. If it lives to tell the tale, I could totally understand why a Poseidon Rex will want to rip every single one of their limbs off of their bodies. Meanwhile, the girl that decided to stay and didn't want to go diving with the others went to a party with two other strange guys, and she's like, oh, this is fun, and I'm gonna go with you and your boat, but then I don't want you to touch me at all because I'm just totally here because I had no other freaking alternatives. I'm guessing the guy that decided to go along or to help the others was her boyfriend, and he's like, where are are you? I'm on a boat. All random like. Why did you go if you knew you'd be in a situation like this? Did you not think this far? What did you think was going to happen? Everybody in their right mind knows that if you go to someone's party, someone like this with a whole bunch of other girls dancing and drinking and being all sensual like, that you're going to eventually end up in that situation. I'm totally here to use you and your boat, but don't touch me. Now, granted, she doesn't want to be touched fine, but you did put yourself there. I mean, seriously, what did you think the party was about? Now, I've never been to a boat party personally, but from what I can tell at every single boat party that I've seen, it is all about hooking up. Unless it's you and your friends and close circle of friends, you go to a boat party, it is all about having fun and hooking up with people. That is what it is for. No one's going to expect you not to get hooked up because you're on their freaking boat. Otherwise, why would you go off to two complete strange men? Then you want to act all like a prude. Come on, give me a break. Hey, if you want to go downstairs, you're more private, can. Look, dude, it's just not going to happen, okay? I have a boyfriend. Oh, do ya! I think this party's over. Party's got in sometime, doesn't it? Wait a minute. So let's let's go over this again because of how foolish it is. Because how stupid this bitch is. I'm sorry. You have a boyfriend. You wait till he leaves. You don't want to go with him on his dangerous journey. Fair enough. So you wait behind, and instead of waiting on him, two strange guys that you don't know come up to you and they're like, "Hey, we're having a party on our boat with a whole bunch of other chicks." Wanna come? Yeah! Even though my boyfriend has no idea where I'm going. Let me just head off with two strange dudes to a party, quote unquote, and it's not your party, nor is it your boat. And then when the guy gets the message from you, because that's exactly what that is, you're some random chick that goes off with a random dude, he's gonna think you'll want to sleep with him. It is what it is. That's what it would look like. Nobody's gonna go to a strange guy's apartment and follow him home when he's like, hey, you want to come to my apartment? Sure. But then when you get to his apartment, no, I don't want you touching me. Why the frick are you in his apartment? Like, what is wrong with you? What planet did you fall off from? Did you land on your head on the way down? Then you have the gall to tell him that the party over. Bitch, it's not your boat. You have a boyfriend. Why are you with another boy? Logic, where is it? Did it fly out of your ears? I'm guessing she can't swim. Now, that 
that's her boyfriend, and this poor guy, maybe he dodged a bullet with this girl, but she's drowning. Some other dude tries to save her because they're all nice-like. Everyone's going to try and save everyone in this situation, but they're all going to get eaten. The Poseidon Rex starts eating people, and I'm pretty sure the reason it's doing it is because it's trying to find its lost egg. Why was it doing it before then? Because these people were too close to its eggs. Go figure. <laughs> it looks so freaking bad. I mean, the design doesn't look bad, but you can tell the Rex isn't supposed to be there. The only reason this guy is risking his poor life is because his girl told him, yeah, by the way, I'm on some random boat. I'm off the harbor. Um, see you back at the dock. The gangster men come in and they're like, where's our freaking money? We knew you were alive, you little asshole. Tell me where the gold is. And I might let your woman live for a while. <laughs> it's in the fridge. The fridge where they put the baby Rex. Now the poor baby Rex is going to wake up to some other humans that are intimidating and smell like anger opening up that very cold box. This thing's probably pissed and scared out of its mind. Now this guy goes to open the box. Imagine again, once again, that you are this baby Rex. Holy crap, the only person I feel sorry for in this whole movie is the poor baby P-Rex. I'm calling it a P-Rex because Poseidon Rex, P-Rex, I know, it's freaking corny as hell. Now. Put yourself in this little baby's shoes. Tell me, after having gone through what you just went through, just having been born, how you would feel in this situation that's gonna play out next. <laughs> what, I mean, honestly, in your mind, what would be going through your freaking head? Like, this thing is trying to live. But look how stupid this movie, look, this movie's so freaking dumb. That's why we're fast forwarding through this adventure. It's so freaking stupid. This guy has a gun, he's still firing it, and when the baby is coming after him, he leans his gun away from the target, which makes no mother sense. <laughs> Let's see that in slow motion, cause maybe I'm crazy. Do, 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 do. Also, sorry for the quality. This is the quality of the video that was uploaded. Jesus, 360p, which should tell you something. And the guy can't escape because these two are holding the door closed. Smart. Now, check out our little baby Rex, right? See where he is? In case you have really bad eyes, there's the baby. Keep, a, keep an eye on the guy's line of sight, right? I know he only has one eye, but you can tell where he's looking. See, he's looking right in front of him. The gun is lined up right there. Okay, so I, I'm confused because <sighs> from what they showed us when the little thing was on the ground, it was running straight at him. It wasn't running in zigzags. It was running straight at him. And you can tell because he's looking straight at the camera. Why in the fart rat is the gun off to the side? I mean, is it the first time he's shooting a gun? I would expect not. He's a gangster. Even when I've trained in my firearms, I'm not a professional by any means. I'm not freaking John Wick, but I've trained enough with my firearms and you line them up with your line of sight. I have never ever held my firearm like this. Like it makes no freaking sense. And honestly, the scarier you are, the more rigid your arms are, you're gonna hold it straight out in front of you. He's even supporting his hand with his other arm. Why the f freaking hell is the gun off to the side? Why is your hand not up? Like, what the, what? How does this make sense? He's screaming. He's, he's looking at us. He is looking at us. The gun is not in front of him. My bro, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Did you want to die? Are you inviting it into your mouth for dinner and freaking Netflix and chill? You deserve to die at this point, seriously. <laughs> We're gonna pass all of this. Run, bitch, run! Anyways, Jane's poor boyfriend rescues her, but she has drowned because she's a freaking idiot. Learn from these mistakes. Why does she have a big gash in her stomach? What happened? Anyways, she had not been on that boat. That wouldn't have happened. Maybe she had been below deck. It probably still wouldn't have happened. It probably still would have happened. Don't go on a boat with strange people you don't know. Her poor boyfriend. Like, not only did she die, but he found out she was on a boat with some other dudes while he was away. Like, the, come on, dude. Stop doing this to people. Poor guy. Meanwhile, sexy guy's over here like, thank God that I ain't my bitch. Now everyone knows that there's a monster out there. Wait a minute, is that Gaming Beaver? I don't know, like from an angle, it kind of looks like him a little bit. Oh, yes, talking about this, I'm letting all my facial hair grow up. Whoa, what? No, 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 no! No, 
I change my mind. He looks like Matt Pat. This is not a still image. Somebody decided that it would be fun or somehow useful to upload a still image of Matt Pat's face onto YouTube for 10 minutes and 3 seconds. I'm not kidding. That's what they literally titled the video. So what do we do now? I mean, we can find a way to kill it, but that's just a theory. No, don't do it. No. No, don't do it. No. Of course, they make a plan to destroy the eggs, which you can imagine will not end well. I know that seemed like we jumped through time. It's because we did. It actually chased them up onto the docks. Watch this. Uh, second thought, maybe we better run. Definitely run! Run! run. Come, on, come on, let's go! Move, move, move! I can guarantee you the only reason this thing is coming on land is because someone took its egg. On. Really, with that sound effect though? Our friend decides to distract the Mama T-Rex so that his friends can get into the car so they can travel to that area that we just saw the Rex in earlier. Check out its footing when it runs. And this is nothing against the design or anything, but obviously they did not rig this thing right to run properly. Like, it, okay. They get in the car and realize they don't have the keys. I don't have to play it on volume to figure it out. Because I didn't even see this part. I had to skip before it. But now, now look! He's still alive! How is he still alive? Thanks to you, Slade. Where is my gold? I know, she's looking at him like, really, bro? Have you no idea what's going on? That's what you're concerned with? You didn't even think about taking that thing with you to sell it for money. No, the only thing you care about is the freaking gold. Who no one has seen. You don't even believe this guy. What is wrong with people? This scene is so stupid, it made some of my brain cells chop themselves in half. Just freaking ridiculous. I know villains are supposed to be all villainy, but I think we've passed that era. I mean, to be fair, this was released in 2013, but I feel like that's still not an excuse. Where is my gold? Go, uh, we're going to get it right now. Yeah, now I get my gold and my revenge. But before I do, I want to kill you! That's what he gets. Why, why didn't you just kill him before? He locked you in that room. You know he did. Why did you kill him as soon as you saw him, you goddamn troll? They reach to the base, with the Rex, hot on their heels and angry, wanting her egg. That, of course, they probably don't have. I keep wondering to myself whether or not they're trying to model after the whole Jurassic Park T-Rex chase. Oh, it fell down. I don't like where this is going. Stop! Right. Stop! No. You don't know each other. The T-Rex is outside. What are you doing? Anyways, the military gets involved because their base hasn't been used in over 30 years. And like, something strange about that. Gotta do something. Why are they all blinking so quickly when they do blink? I have a lot of patients come to me as an ophthalmologist with dry, tired, irritated eyes. So, turns out that the army got their message because this guy had sent the message and the army's response is that they're going to level the entire island in 20 minutes. So make sure they're out by 20 minutes. What the hell? How are you going to evacuate all those people? There's one creature on the freaking island and you're going to level the entire island. Well, they didn't say level, but they said all out aerial assault. And there's still people there. I have no idea what the logic is for that. Just keep that in mind when you ask the army for help. They're not exactly going to do it the way you want them to. The adventure continues because they have a plan. They're going to try to get rid of the creature themselves. As the Poseidon Rex gives chase after the plane, who this guy is hoping will follow the plane for whatever reason. As you know, it's in the air. Why would the Rex follow you flying so high above there? Of course, the Rex is going to go for the next closest thing. His friends in the boat that he was hoping to distract it from. It gives chase after them because the poor thing logically knows that that's a better target. Target. While on the boat, the guy who lost his girlfriend, his freaking cheating girlfriend, <laughs> decides to use a bazooka that they got from that little base area. He does not use it and he falls into the water and uh, he gets killed. Before it can get the girl, fighter jets come in to save the day and they start bombing the creature and it's really injured, which makes a lot of sense. But holy crap, it's not dead yet. Surprise, surprise, it raises up like Dracula from his bed after a long slumber. <laughs> It's not dead. And Sarah, the girl, decides to put it out of its misery while the military just stands there uselessly watching. 
Holy crap, it's going to eat her. No, it's not. She blows its head off like they always do in these movies. That's a big ass hole in its neck. Holy crap. They're cheering because they didn't have to do the dirty work. Thank goodness. Pretty sure they're going to take all the credit though. When they were just about to freaking annihilate the island with a whole bunch of living people on it. Well, that's the end of our beautiful adventure. It was so anticlimactic, to be honest. I honestly feel really bad for the T-Rex because she was doing fine by herself. No, it's not a T-Rex, it's a P-Rex. And then these people start blowing up her home with her eggs. She retaliates. They blow her up, kill her eggs, and kill the poor baby. Or maybe the baby's still alive somewhere. Who knows? Oh no, the eggs are still there. Yes! That's right, little bitches. Avenge your mother and your poor sibling. The dinosaurs are the victims in this movie. The humans got exactly what they deserved. Not all the other humans on the island, they're mind their own business. So that was an interesting adventure, a very stupid, interesting adventure. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That was Poseidon Rex. If you guys want to see it, go ahead and check it out. It's right here on YouTube. Have fun with that. This is Ben Altiori. You ask, we answer.